So what we talked about the last IG live before it got cut off, I had talked about um, you have to place a value on something more than just money or superficialism. You have to equate it to something real in your life so you can appreciate it. Otherwise, otherwise it'll be, otherwise you'll just lose all touch of reality and it'll never be enough. And you are just going to kill yourself. Chasing, chasing, chasing. Chasing the next big win. So, this is why I keep talking about having the training accountability buddy. There's someone that, you know, keeps you grounded as well. Um, so the first step, guys, is to basically do this. To basically set your life straight. Let me see, I'm reading some of these. Let me take questions, actually, right? I forgot what I was gonna talk about, actually, shit. I got all disturbed going to Costco and they kicked me out of Costco. Some guy made a comment. <laughs> he goes, uh, your, uh, your videotaping is more important, huh? Than pushing this cart around. And then he's shaking his head at me. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, dude, you're here shopping. Just go around the cart. What's the big deal? Why are you so mad at people, you know? <clears throat> um, we talked about, you know, yeah, we talked about like integrity from a service. Um, you know, it's very simple, guys. It's like you, you, you want something so bad, you have to be realistic about it. Uh, step back and go, hey, whoa, um, they're trying to sell me this. Is it true or false? So, so the simplest way would be like just to try it out for a month. I mean, that's the simplest way. You don't need to commit anything. Try it out for a month. You'll see it, dude. Uh, don't buy DVDs. Don't buy any of these upgrade shit. Just fucking try it out. You'll know for sure if you want it or not after a month. Well, you know, like you pay hundred something bucks and just fucking try whatever service you guys want to try out. I mean, what's the big deal? So some of these guys have been trolling for years saying everything's a fraud and scam, but they've never tried any of these. Or they have. But you know, like, dude, not everything is a fucking fraud. Um, and it, it just kind of bothers me because, like, man, there's... It detracts from the real education. Um, let me see. So this, in my opinion, is this. Edson knows, man, he's been training for a long time. He ha he didn't have a big streaks and stuff. The secret to trading, guys, th this is the hurdle. This is the hurdle that is the most difficult and that separates a full-time trader from non-full-time. You, you, you'll get to the point where you're gonna have 10 days in a row of wins. 20 days of wins in a row. It's that one day that you lose. That what, that's what separates you from being a, a legit full-time trader, being able to be a full-time trader and someone who's not. When you lose, can you keep your losses to a minimum? It's the most difficult thing, man. Because during your 20 days streak of being green, you broke a lot of rules and you got away with it. You know, you you like you know you shouldn't be adding, adding, adding and trading and keep shorting the front side. And then now uh, the zombie hour comes and you know you should be covering and just taking your $5,000 loss and then become 10,000. You're like, okay, shit. Um, so now you put your stop loss at $20,000. And by the time $20,000 comes, you just panicked to cover the same spot that everybody else does. So now your 20 just ballooned to 40. You just lost 40,000. I guarantee you that's exactly what happens. First, you're only down three grand. Oh, fuck, I don't wanna take three grand. Then you're down five. Then you hit zombie hours and you're down 10. And the moment you're down 10, you're like, okay, I'm gonna raise my uh, max, my oh shit. I'm gonna use my, my max loss, oh shit. My max loss, oh shit, is 20,000. By the time I hit, lose 20,000, I'm good. Uh, I might give back a week or two weeks loss, fine. Because you're playing with these games in your head to justify you not taking the loss. Because in your head, you convince yourself. Because what happens? You've seen it fake so many times where, fuck, I cover it and then it starts tanking. And you're like, I'm not gonna be that stupid. I'm not gonna be the guy that's gonna stop out at the top and look stupid. So you balloon a 3,000 into a 5,000 into a 10,000. 
And now you give yourself a $20,000 max loss. Because you're like, fuck, I'm already in too deep. And you know what, man? Uh, the day's almost over. I'm going to keep holding it. Uh, so what's going to happen is this. The moment you hit the max loss, guys, you, you, you can't control yourself. Because during that time, you're also adding. You're not just holding the same small position. You're adding, constantly adding to the position. So now your 5,000 shares turns into 10,000 shares short. Turns into 20,000 shares short. And you're fucking down a buck on it. 20,000 shares down a buck on it. Um, and so what happens is like, okay, man, I'm going to stop out. But the problem is you're in so big. Other people are in so big. And now uh, the mid midday comes. And there's no more liquidity. So what happens is this. This is, this is why I came up with the zombie rule, guys. The zombie rule is when they, they, when they basically shrink down the volume to nothing. Okay? So these overly rotated stocks, heavily, low float, usually they're low float. Low float, heavily rotated low float stocks. They trap everybody. And then during the midday, the volume is gone. You're like, where the fuck is the volume? So you're like, and then they're always hovering around the VWAP. They're hovering around the over underline. They go under, and every time they go under, you're like adding more, adding up, adding more, because you're down, right? So they're like adding more, and they pop right back up. But they don't kill you yet. You're smart. They fucking hang around that over underline. Then they go down again. You're like, this is it, death candle. Fuck, add more, boom, right back up. So they do that for around an hour, half hour, an hour. And now you're like, holy fuck, I'm in the fucking big. And my average is okay now because I kept averaging up. So I'm like within fucking no, closer and closer, right? And then you're thinking it's close. No more volume. No more sellers. I mean, there's no more buyers. So when the volume dies, you think this, guys. You think there's no more buyers. But actually, it's fucking the opposite. There is no more supply. When there's no supply, that means there are no sellers. They, the algos, are the buyers. There's always buyers if they're fucking keeping that shit. They are the buyer. They turned off the buying. They're, and you think it's the lack of buying. It's the lack of selling. The lack of supply. So what happens is the volume gets shrunk to nothing. If you take a look at the volume bar on the bottom of your, your chart, you see in the morning, volume's huge. And then all of a sudden, it starts to slow down during the zombie hour. Spreads down. It's like quiet. Ghost town. 100 prints, 200 prints. Now the spread widens. What happens when the liquidity dies, when the volume dies, this. When there's no supply, volume slows down. Liquidity gets shrunk to nothing. When there's no liquidity, they can, the spread, the bid and the offer spreads out. And that's called, that they're, they're widening the spread. Just like eBay. If there's only, if there's a bunch of Adidas shoes for sale, the spread is very close, right? You can buy it anywhere. But now if only 10 guys got the, the shoe you want and there's a thousand guys bidding on it, fuck, I could name my own price. You know, I could name my own price. One guy could sell a shoe for a thousand, another guy could sell a shoe for 5,000. The spread is huge. Cause there's only a few items, same concept with the stock. So when the spray widens, you know what happens, guys? They turn on the buying. Boom! This is why you get the fucking air jump, the air join shit. Boom! I call it, uh, it just gap on air. Moves on air. Spiked on air. You know what that is? That's the lack of supply. They just fucked you. Now I'm holding 30,000, 40,000 shares short. Fucked. I'm my own worst nightmare. I cannot fucking cover. Even 20,000 shares, upside down two bucks, that's $40,000. Um, the move on air is the extra point that kills you. You're down to a point, that's fine. Holding 20,000 shares down a point. Okay, that's not bad. I can recover. But the problem is when you co cover, there's no supply. You're fucked. And that's a zombie. Okay? That's a fucking zombie. When they, when you think this play is dead, but it's not dead. It's fucking just waiting, waiting, waiting for you, trapping you. 
boom, that's a zombie. And that, in my opinion, is new, relatively new. Because back in the day, man, shorting was relatively pretty straightforward. When the death candle came, it was over. Uh, day three comes, that's, it's easy. Day one, day two, day three, boom, done. Uh, the reason is not many algos were entering. What I mean by algos is this. It's a fund with a shitload of money. Uh, if I was a fund with a shitload of money and, and a fucking bot to trade, these, these algos used to live on the large caps and the mid caps, you know, the big guys, because that's where all the money was. So they would scalp and trade. So imagine now, instead of putting an algo on Netflix and spaying fucking what, $10 million positions, I can just use $2 million on a small ass $2 stock and fuck everybody. Make sense? Why wouldn't you do it? And they have. Fuck, and they just come in and sometimes you see there's no news. You're like, what the fuck has happened? They just fucking move. You don't fucking know. They just fucking put the alcohol. They see an opportunity. They see everyone's fucking short. Uh, that's why a lot of times the, the easy to ball shit is fucked. They want you to get trapped. Uh, easy to borrow, I call it now the easy to blow up. ET, <laughs> EDB is, e is easy to borrow, but it's easy to blow up. So you gotta be very, very cognizant of that. Uh, it didn't happen before. People laugh about it, but dude, that's I've, I've fucking cracked the code. I've seen it. Um, that's why I created a zombie. I, I call it zombie on purpose, man. It's a, it's, it's not a trading term. It's just a fucking term I made up. Um, a lot of shit I just made up. Just to, just to let you know that, hey, that's what it resembles. It resembles something that's dead, but it's not really dead. And so we've been taking advantage of that, guys. I've been going along a lot and making money off the zombies. I tell my guys, you guys see it all the time. It's like, fuck, we identify the zombie. We know the times it attacks. So now it's changing, though. Um, remember, if that's, that was the, the edge I had for a while. Um, edges change. If more people do the same thing, the edges get less and less. And that's the nature of trading, guys. It just changes all the time. If you're doing the same shit all the time, I mean, you, this thing, man, you can trade. It, that's why it comes back to this, guys. Making $1,000 a day. It's a quarter of a million a year. Um, five hundred dollars uh, a day. Five hundred is a hundred thousand a year. Just five hundred bucks, dude. You make your fucking five hundred bucks every day. You can't do it. You can, right? Think about it. You can. It's the problem is when you make five hundred, you want a thousand. Now you want a thousand. You want two thousand. Two thousand. You want five. Five. One. Ten. I can walk in and make a few grand by 10.30. It's the mental that, that fucks me up. I'm like looking at the charts and it's like, fuck, why did I cover so, so soon? Why am I such a dumbass? Oh my God, my God, I'm so stupid. And then you wait, I'm like, I'm gonna wait for, I wish it went back up. I wish the stock went back up. So the, so now I'm sitting around during the zombie hours and the stock starts to move back up. Then I'm like, yes, this time I'm gonna load up because I didn't load the first time. And that's when you die. So this is the, the, the discipline, the mental side of trading that you fucking have to overcome, guys. It's like, it's never enough. So I keep reminding myself daily. That's why I keep posting the room daily. You want to trade the higher probability setups. That's why I have this thing on my Twitter pinned up that says $500 a day is 100,000 a year. 1,000 a day is a quarter million a year. 2,000 a day is 500,000. 2,000 is not that much, guys. I can, I can make with a $50,000 account, 2,000 every day. The problem is the mental shit steps in. I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold this shit. I have a conviction. I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna fucking post this shit on Twitter and show the world that I fucking held that shit all day. Squeeze every motherfucking penny out of it. Cause I'm the fucking cool guy. And that's what happens to most traders, guys. And that's why they fucking lose. It's not because they are not skillful. You do this enough times, you understand the strategies, you understand how to make money. 
Uh, making money is not hard, guys. I can teach you to make money. I cannot teach you to hold the money. Can you make your money and get the fuck out? And that's why my friend was successful. He had a job. He had no choice. And he came to the realization, this is life-changing money. Most of you kids have no clue. You live at home, no bills. You have a family, it's different. You know, you don't appreciate something unless it's gone. And, I, and that's, the, that's the honest truth. My buddy's divorced. And so he's appreciative. His fucking wife took his money. So now he's like fucking sad, sir, but now he's like fucking life-changing money. And it, it, it hits me every day when I hear it. It's like, Bao, I can eat anything I want. <laughs> just think about that, guys. Some people was like, fuck, dude. If they just make $500 a day extra, that's like life-changing money, dude. Now you buy your kids gifts. You don't have to wait for the sales. You know, you just buy them. Like, fucking $500 is life-changing, guys. Just $500. do not listen to these guys laughing at you. Telling you that you're a piker, a scalper. Fuck, some people have to start somewhere, man. Build your bankroll. The moment you build your bankroll, then you decide what you want to do in life. And that's why sometimes you have to tune off. Turn off social media, turn off Twitter. Just fucking focus on what you're doing. So I learned a lot from Joe Kelly too, man. We disabled the, the comments, so I don't, I don't have to get affected by the, negative, the negativity, right? I'm just here to help do my thing and help people. Um... Because no one's telling you this stuff, dude. Everyone's, everyone's trying to like fucking tell you they're the best trader in the world. Right? Everybody's just telling you they're the best everything. Nah, dude, we're none of the best. I'm a fucking normal human being. But I'm here to just fucking tell you that being a normal human being, you can still be successful. Hang around grounded people. Uh, get rid of the friends that are not grounded. $500 a day. Think about it. Don't think about just number. Take out $20 bills. That is 25 of those $20 bills. Wait, more than that? Shit. I have bad math. Is that 25? <laughs> is that 25? <laughs> That's it? That's 25 lap dances? Shit, those strippers make hella money. <laughs> I, should be a, I should be a stripper. <laughs> I'm like, just there, 25 not this is 500 bucks. That's life changing money, though, right? Now you go strip club, not worry about it. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, but you know what I'm saying? So, fuck, dude, now you go eat anything you want. I go fucking $100 meals. I still have, and I go lunch, spend 30 bucks. That's a nice ass meal for one person, right? For lunch. Uh, 100 bucks, fucking nice ass. And I still have 300 bucks left. On top of my job. That's life-changing money, guys. You don't need much money for having life-changing money. I'm not talking about buying stupid-ass materialistic crap. That's a different story. Um, I'm talking about just being able to live your life, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and then we'll talk about saving money. That's different, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't have to, so it makes, dude, in a year, $500 a day is 100 grand. That's a fucking shitload of money. So start today, man. Make a make a make a path. Like make make a plan. Put the shit. Write it down. Hang it on your wall. You know this this dream. It's called a dream board or something. Dream board. Put it up there. What do you want? Be realistic. You want five hundred? Put five hundred bucks up there. I'm not telling you to reach that goal because you don't want to push it. But just to know, I, I I like to have this in my mind because. Just to remind myself how much money that is. You know, that's, and that's, that's the problem, man. We, we, we get comfortable, right? We, 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 we keep doing it and, and then now we're up 10,000. We're like, holy shit. I'm gonna be a little loose on the next one. I have cushion. So let me tell you the cushion game is bullshit. That's what kills me. Cushion kills me because um, let's say I'm up like 3,000. This is a really live, live example. I'm up like three grand. I'm like, fuck. For, for me, I'm like, dude, I should be happy. But I'm like, dude, I, I, I need to make at least four. That's a million bucks. Uh, so like, it's not enough. The reason I think it's not enough because I look at the chart and I go, shit, I covered too soon. If I fucking held, I could be up 10 grand. 
That's what fucks with my head. And so I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that opportunity for that thing to go back up so I can make 10 grand. But when it goes up there, I'm dead. Because it trapped everybody and trapped me. So, so that's the thing. So I, I remind myself by putting up how much $3,000 is. How much 500 is. How much 1,000 is. How, $250, guys, is 50,000 a year. Two, 20, 250 bucks, that's it. 250 bucks. How long has it been since you had losing weight? Oh, I, I, when I switched to NASDAQ, dude, I was just trying to like muscle like I used to do before. So I've had it. But, you know, I, but I, I mean, now, now it's like the, the problem I have now is being comfortable with making less than I used to. Doesn't mean I'm making much less. Like, dude, before, before I was making a shitload, dude. <laughs> I did a speech for traders or cause receipt on there. I was in like, it was like every day, every day, you know? So it was like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but I want to talk about that because, so, but it's all relative guys, right? You, you go from making millions to making like half a million. Half a million is still a shitload. So, or like whatever it may be. So my whole point being is it's, it's a different thing. I put my money away in real estate. I, I do other things with it. I'm not, at my age, I don't have, I don't want to fucking, the thing is, that's what Alex likes to say. He's 20 something years old. If he lost all his money, he still has 20 more years to make it back. For someone like us who has a family, kids, whatever it may be, um, family to support, moms and dads to support, I don't have time to start over. I'm not a young kid anymore. So I'm not gonna take the same risk that I used to take. Who am I kidding, dude? I remember what I said, uh, my famous quote, you only need to get rich once. Um, that means this, you only need to get rich once means this. When you make it, do whatever it takes not to lose it. A lot of these people, like the curse of the million, uh, the lottery winners, they make it and they lose it. Right guys? So, you only need to get rich once means like, if you make it, do not fucking let them take it from you. So you're up 10 grand guys for the week. Fuck, dude, risk half at the most. I'll just give you an example. Just fucking walk away and just, just like, dude, that day's done. You do not ever want to go back, you know what I'm saying? So you, you want to take three steps forward, one step back. Do what you do. If you start losing, cut back your, your number of shares you buy until you work back to that cushion. Uh, this is just tricks to tell you guys, because like when you become an advanced trader, you have a bigger bankroll, you do what the fuck you want, because you, you know what you're doing already. But in order to get there, you know, you have to have a very strategic path. And that, that's the path that I took. I took a lot of base hits to build my bankroll. Um, it was much easier back then because you did, there was no pattern day trader. So I could still day trade. Um, I lost all my money and I took out like 80 grand from my house. And so I was like, fuck dude, I, I've, I can't lose my house. So I bet on myself and thank God it worked out, but fuck dude, it, it was pretty, it was pretty dark times where it's like you imagine if you just fucking lose all your money. It's just, it's, you, you doubt yourself and all that. And so, but the thing is, I, I keep telling people, you, you rather lose your money early than late. Uh, if you had early success, you'd be very arrogant and you can get to the point where one day you may lose it all. I'd rather have just lost in the beginning, maybe 20, 30 grand. Which was a shitload of money. And I think I lost probably, I lost probably like 80 grand, 100 grand before I made money. Um, which was a shitload of money back then. But better than being arrogant and losing millions now. That's the thing, Edson. It's, uh, I, I've been there, bro. I, I fucking, I've been there. Um, it just takes that one, what the fuck. And, and I'll tell you, Edson, the, the, the secret is to find your trading accountability, buddy. Find someone who's there trading with you that can slap you when they see you. Because the problem is this, you don't want to get to that point uh, where you're, you're like too stuck. Your trading accountability buddy should have stopped you, right? He said, hey, before you get to that $10,000 loss, shit, you're at 2,000, 3,000, you better consider 5,000, you better fucking walk away. 10,000, you just get the fuck out. 
before it hits 40,000 and your whole account is blown away. You see how that works? So you, you don't want to get to that point. And the only way, in my opinion, at this early age stage, even for myself, man, is to have someone slap me. Because we get into these zones and we just don't see anything. We're just numb because we're like, oh shit, I'm down so much. What's the point? I'm just gonna let it ride. And then when you lose it all, you're like, shit. Even me saving 5,000 is still $5,000. I did not need to lose it all. And the only way that you do it is to have a friend dude, slap you. It's just shake you up before it gets there. And, and this is the biggest hurdle for every day trader. Once you solve this, you've made it. Not a word. Once you solve the riddle of how to take a loss and move on, you've made it. I'm going to say that once again. You can make 20 days of gains in a row. The danger is that one next red day. That's what people will get wiped out. And to avoid that, you need to have a trading accountability, buddy. Some people are so strong, they don't need it. But I'm human, everyone needs it. Uh, when Alex doesn't text me back, I know he's fucking doing stupid shit. When I don't text him back, so that's why today he's like, pal, you trained during the zombie hours? I was, I, I just lost a little bit back, but you know, and he, but he reminded me and I kind of snapped out of it, right? Um, so seriously guys, hook up with someone who you trust, work together through it, and just be accountable, man. It's like the gym, right? If, if no one's helping me go to the gym or walk the hill, I'm not gonna fucking exercise. But if, if my accountability buddy is like walking to my house and slapping me and telling me, you know, you fat ass, go go to the gym, you know, I'm accountable for it. So I I think that's what did it for me. I've always had one. I did not realize it. I always had a guy that I traded with. And, we, you know, that's, that's, that's what kept me. Because we always bounce the trades back and forth. And if the trade was good, we'd both be in the trade. Why would I be in the trade if he didn't agree with the trade? Two heads are better than one. I may be right sometimes, he may be right sometimes, but if both of us agree, there's more likelihood that we're both right. Make sense, guys? And I'll tell you why the zombie thing is big, okay? Um, all the losses are accumulated from the ad, ad, ad. It's from the traps. It's when the stock is hovering at the over or under make it or break it support line. And that's the thing that fucking fucks you up. Because you're so deep into it, you can't see the bigger picture. You think it's over. You think it's over. You're like, fuck, I'm so close to breaking even. I'm so close. To, I only need a tear to break even. So you're fucking holding out. And the, the, the thing that gets you is you keep adding. You keep adding because they're faking that signal. They're faking the signal. Once again, it comes to the confirmation versus anticipation. When I'm stuck upside down, the mistake is to anticipate and keep adding. You because you want, you know, you want to better improve your average. And that's how you get stuck in this ad, 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 ad. Once you solve that, guys, you can make it to the next step. Uh, that's why you can't really do much damage, in my opinion, before 1030, unless the stock just goes up and you keep adding forever. So you always have to have a max loss. That, in my opinion, supersedes everything. Set a maximum out, also get the fuck out. Um, then I do uh, max size. I give myself, do the math before you get in the trade. Uh, max size, 5,000, 10,000, whatever it may be. Uh, all right. That's why when you look at my chart sometimes, I let it, I, I'm scaling in, but like it's 50 cents I can scale in. Because I did the math in my max size that I know where I can get in and out. Uh, I don't do large size at one spot. You know what I'm saying? So if you give yourself, let's say 5,000 shares max, now you're more frugal. It's a budget, right? You give yourself a budget, like a spending budget. So now I'm like, oh shit, I only have 5,000 spent on this. So I can't add to infinity. Now I'm gonna add 500 here, 1,000 here. I will be very frugal with it. Make sense, guys? Uh, sometimes you know you're just wrong 
and just exit. Like today, APHA, I barely got in that stock. But I'm like, something's not right. Uh, if you take a look by Twitter today, APHA. I mean, nice little scalp on it, but it's nothing. It's like 15 cents, nothing. But, but, but the, the, the nice trade is this, is to recognize that something weird's going on. It should react. If a stock is not doing what you think it's gonna do, get out. Because at a certain point, if it breaks a support, it should go poof, poof. But if it goes and then eat it, poof, 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 there's someone hidden buying this shit. So a stock needs to behave in the behavior that you anticipate. If it does not, something's wrong. Get the fuck out. That means your thesis is wrong. My thesis is once it breaks the support, it should go boom to the next line. It's like the over underline. It, it should go very fast. But if it's walking and someone's eating, so it turns out Citron was long that stock. I didn't know what it was. I posted that shit on Twitter. Take a look at Twitter. I posted it before Citron came out and said they went long. Is it? Wait, which one did that Citron go? APHA? Did they go APHA, Citron? Um. When, see what I'm saying? When stock doesn't do what you expect it to do, something's, something's freaky. So I felt like, dude, someone's eating this shit. And the, I'm looking at the, the weekly chart, and it's been hovering for three days at the same price. That means they've exhausted all the buyers. If it broke down, it should go boom right away, but it didn't. That means, dude, someone's accumulating for fucking five straight days, three days. And that's why I was like, hey man, I, I'm cool, I'm, I'm cool. I'm not gonna reshort it once it goes to the high of the day anymore. No, no, no. So I just, I just took it off my scanner. Um, yep, APHA, you can take a look. I think um, Citron went long. <laughs> that's what's the buyer in the morning. <laughs> um, it's crazy, right, man? That's, that, that's what I'm saying. So, uh, so the thing I realized is, this is why I keep trying to tell you, okay? So the summary is this. I don't want to keep you anymore from your family um, and dinner's coming up. Um, the sooner you realize the trade's not going your way, the sooner you need to get the fuck out. And that's very much discipline and ego and not um, not being afraid to take a loss. Because you know what, man? I keep saying, man, if you, if, you, if, if you do not take a loss, a little loss, you will end up taking the mother of all losses. And the first thing you guys need to do today, my homework assignment to you, Look for your trading accountability buddy. I'm not joking, guys. Look for your tab. I call it tab. Trading accountability buddy. First step. Don't do this shit on your own. It's too hard to do on your own. I never traded like this on my own. Every time I traded my own, I, I started a penny stock with my friend. We worked together. Um, you know, it, it's, it's progress. It's like an Olympic athlete, guys, a professional athlete. They don't train alone. You can't train this shit alone. You, you need someone. It's not the it's not the mechanical, the technical. It's the mental. It's the mental aspects that you can't fucking like uh, do yourself. Because you get everyone gets in these zones and they just fucking they. Just, it, it's it's just a crazy zone, right? You need to be working out of it. So first step, guys, get a trading accountability. Buddy. Find one. Join MIC. Find one. Fuck. For $179, you can find ones and quit. <laughs> but if you join, you won't quit because it's like the knowledge is there, dude. Find a tab. Seriously, guys, make friends. Make friends on Twitter. Stop trolling around. Stop being a smart ass. Humble yourself. No one wants to be a training accountability buddy with a smart ass. I think they know everything, right? So I feel very sad for some of these trolls. They're stupid. They, they, they've they lost and they don't understand why they lost. So they turn to trolling and hating. Instead of just really opening their mind, dude. You know, the, I, I've been there. I'm giving you guys a secret here. The secret's free. Having a training accountability buddy is free. Find someone to work together. If you can't find one, join MIC. We will find, there's 800 people there. You can become and look. Um, the whole MIC is your trading accountability, buddy. We, we talk about these stocks all the time. I keep reminding you, don't fucking touch the shit. You reach out for help. Talk to a mentor. Talk to a moderator. What's the difference between month to month and yearly? Just do yearly. You get, you pay for 10, you get two months free. That's it. And then you get uh, special stuff that, well, we had a boot camp, but there, there'll be more stuff that's coming for members only, for annual only. But right now, we haven't really done anything with it. You save, you save money, I mean, shit.
Um, and for taxes, um, we're, 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 dude, this is gonna be big. We're gonna, get, we're gonna set something up to help members too. So there's a great CPA we're working with. He's a trader. So that, that's the power of the club, man. You join, you get cheaper commission. I have two brokers, one of them, uh, you don't hold overnight and they're giving, dude, I have free locates. They have a pool of free locates, guys. Uh, everybody else charges for them. So, I mean, we, we, we work with these brokers all the time and they're, and they're giving us the, the best rates for our members and all that stuff, so. Any more questions, guys? Any questions? Well, there's your secret, man. Number one, don't be conned. Uh, figure out your mentor. Can you, can he, the, does the style that he teaches you, can you do yourself? Is it something you can do? Is it realistic? Or is it just, yeah, he's very smart, but I can't do this myself. There's steps to this game, right? Uh, number two, um, be realistic with yourself. Be honest. Mm, focus and, you know, have, attach something more meaningful than money to your progress, you know, translate into a real life thing. Uh, dinners with your family, you know, life changing stuff, right? And then number three, training accountability. That will help you prevent you, in my opinion, not going away, blowing up because he will stop you before you get to that point. Right, Edson? If someone was helping you or I when we blew up, uh, we would not get to that state, right? They would snap us out of it. And if it's someone you really trust, you wouldn't get to that point, right? Because we know we're doing something wrong and we're just guilty as hell, but we just still do it, right? Uh, but if someone's there that we trust, just to slap us into sh reality, right? Borrows are hard, man, but I teach along strategies too, so. It's just a mental aspect, guys. This, this is the thing, man. You get into a group of people that really want to help each other and, and to improve and stuff. I use it for a scanner, man. Uh, you post your stock, you know, that we, 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 and then they do due diligence, they do findings, you learn how to do filings. There's just, there's just tons of stuff that you can't do yourself. No, it's very hard for everybody to know everything unless you're a seasoned veteran, right? So you learn and then people help you and some people are really great at filings and fundamentals. The other people are really great at uh, technical analysis. Some people are great with reading the news and understanding it and warrants and all that, right? So it's a teamwork, guys, it's a teamwork. Okay, fees are killing you. Join MIC, man. <laughs> we have a broker that gives free locates, a pool of them if you wake up early enough to ask. <laughs> um, it, that's what I'm saying, guys. So the thing, no one telling you the secret. I'm telling you the secret, man. The secret is, the secret to getting the next step is not to, for that one day that you lose, for the two days you lose, not to give back everything. And it's all mental. And I had the solution. The solution was what I did. Uh, had a trading partner. We ran plays off each other. He, um, we woke up. So I taught him how to do it. He, I taught my sister. So, um, so now he, so he was awesome. He, he, uh, he woke up. Uh, he had the gappers for me. He had a list, and then we run, you know, we run by it. And if I liked them, cool. That means both of us liked it. Uh, worked out the the support, the resistance lines. What do we need to know? Our game plan. You know, that's it. Um, and he would watch my trades and I would never get super sized because he's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? He would you know, remind me uh, and then he goes, I'm out, I'm out. So it's, when your friend's out, you're like, oh fuck, okay, I gotta sell too. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Why did my friend sell? Fuck, I can't be adding. So either you both go broke together or you save each other. And I hope you don't go broke <laughs> together. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, Jordan. Is there a time you ever find it appropriate to go long and break out? Yeah, there's all sorts of strategy. We do it all, man. Whatever the, you know, whatever it is, man. You break, you know, like when you break a a resistance, you know. You know, there's a bunch of different strategies you can do. Does MIC work for me that I am looking for? No. Some no code trading. I have no idea what that is. Cool guys. Well, thank you for joining. Uh, I hope you uh, you got something out of it. I don't. Know, I forgot the main reason I called the M MIC, but um, I just want to share with you that before. Uh, so that you know, happy holidays, guys, 
And when I'll speak to you again, I'll probably speak to you before that, so. Options, yeah, I don't do options personally, but we have people in the room that do options. Uh, the options, you have to learn technical analysis, guys, and that, that goes with the same options and everything. So if no one's teaching you technical analysis, you should join just to learn technical analysis, you know, or you can go Google yourself, stockcharts.com. Cool, guys, thanks for joining. And uh, thanks for joining, Edson. Thanks for the comments, man. Um, uh, that, you know, I, that's why I keep talking about this trading accountability, buddy, because I've been there, man. And, and I, I'm trying to figure out, like, what did I do to get over that hump? And it's, it's having and realizing you have a problem and then having someone to help you with that mental issue, which is nothing wrong with it. That's everybody, man. I get the same fucking shit. Uh, that's why Alex today was like, Val, you're quiet. Are you trading during it? Are you shorting? Are you stuck? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I could have been. I should have fucking left. I saw the signs. I stayed around, to be honest, because the MRIN, I nailed it, but I didn't nail it with enough size. Of course, you never nail it with enough size, right? So I'm like, I was so mad. I was like, why did I load up? I played it too safe. And so I, I just worked my, my myself into a frenzy, you know? You know, that's what it is. So it's all in your head, man. Fuck, dude. By 10.30, I made a fantastic amount of money, and I was like, but I was never enough. So that's why I made this video, guys. Uh, so I felt myself getting to that, so I wanted to share this to put everything in perspective with you. It's like everyone goes through that, I go through that, and that's very dangerous. And um, all right, man, I will see you online. Good night. All right, Oliver, thanks. I will check my Slack.